Hello there, today I'm going to cover my Bailey 12010H, uh, 10 foot, 10 gauge hydraulic folder here. Uh, before I bought this, I tried to do some research online and didn't really come up with a whole lot. So I figured if I decided to get one, I'd do a little video just to kind of give you a walk around and show you what this is if you happen to be looking for something. The, the six footers, eight footers, I think they're all fairly similar controls. So just a walk through here, got your overall control setup, pump start would engage the pump, um, e-stop, and then you've just got a toggle bend and then a toggle to release. You've got a automatic mode. So once you get your bend backstop or your gauge stop done, you can hit bend one time, it'll rotate up come back down and uh, cycle the bend. Inch mode is just to bump it. And then as you're doing it, you can actually look down here pretty easily and uh, watch that apron as it comes up and see where that's at. You can also do an auto to open, which will get you um, cycled through, back and open. And so kind of a quick, simple control panel there. Uh, there actually is a degree wheel here, and this is what will stop you on your limiter here. So once you um, get your angle figured out, you can set that and uh, get some pretty consistent results there. The, um, the actual degree numbers, in my opinion, doesn't really mean anything. Uh, so, but the numbers are there if you feel like you're a number person. Um, I actually end up using this little guy more often than anything to figure out if I got a piece of something that uh, 12 gauge 10 foot or something that I need to repeat jump to an 8 foot back to a 10 foot you're gonna have different spring back so back here you've got the guts of the whole thing uh, your control panel pump motor all that reservoir um, this is your back gauge it is just a thread on so you can actually set angles to it. You can set it straight. There's just um, an end on both sides there and kind of looking down inside there. You can probably get within maybe two and a half inches of that outside piece. Um, so if it's really short pieces, that back gauge will not help you. And then here is your threaded adjustment to bring that, the teeth of your brake in and out. So, other than that, you've got a thickness gauge, which is right here. So you would set that to set your auto clamp up and down, um, controlled by a foot pedal out here, which we've just got three, a bend, a clamp, and an unclamp. Um, and then this guy can get moved around depending on you know, what, your, uh, what types of pieces you're working on. So I'm gonna fire it up real quick here. We're running off a phase converter. Not that that really matters, but it does work. So pump on, and so in order to get this guy to go down, I'm gonna have to hit our clamp. That closes this assembly here. Again, that is adjustable on those end brackets. And then I can cycle this through. I'm just in inch mode right now, but it will go up until it hits this limiting switch. And at which point I'll have to go ahead and send it back down. If I was going to kick this over to auto mode, I could hit bend here. That will cycle it through without me touching it. Up and back down again. So the only shut off I found is to e-stop it off. Um, which seems kind of weird, but it's pretty burly. Um, I really enjoy it. It's got... Uh, got some good features to it and if you're looking for something that isn't going to break the bank but still going to bend a crap load of stuff um, done 3 16 aluminum 50 52 and then of course 10 gauge steel 10 foot so it's no short order so anyways hope this uh, helps with your purchasing decisions have a nice day